Let's have a fun little stream, all righty. What's good, people? Monday night tech and chill show unplugged, locked in and loaded. Your host of the most, Ben from Lover of Tech, and we are, of course, live. We are going to be talking about all things related to the flippable, foldable Flip 5 with a Z in front. Yes, we say Z in the UK. So if you have a problem, you could do one. Flip 5, baby. Yep. It's been a week. And as the title says, my goodness, I think the flip has made me change my mind. Interesting. I think the flip has made me change my mind. I think it has made me change my mind. Has it changed my mind enough for me to stop being a fold user? I don't think so. But, 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 all things considered, I was wrong. I was wrong to think this wasn't really doing much. It's doing a lot. It's doing a lot. Who's in the chat first? Dearest mother. <laughs> mum, mum, mum's the first one in the chat, you know. Evening, mum. Hello. <laughs> no, me big. I love TC. I, 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 I don't know who this is, but either way, you're probably trolling and I like it. Welcome. Portland, Jamaica in the building. What's good, Bailey? Evening. Jeff, Mr. Hell, what's good, mate? Good evening. Thank you for joining. Appreciate the people. Ten concurrent viewers. Ten concurrent viewers in the house. Yeah. Who remembers that show? L O Q J. In the house, in the house. Do, 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 do. No diggity. No chap with me. No diggity. In the house, in the house. Classic shows. Z Flip 5, one week later. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's made me change my mind. It's made me change my mind. My goodness. What a twist of fate. What a twist of fate. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone is safe during this time. I wasn't going to stream, but I've said to myself, if there is no reason for me not to stream, we are streaming. We are getting ahead of the game. Yes, we're going to be talking about the experience with the Z Flip 5 one week later. And if you know, you know. Thank you for joining. Thumbs up. Appreciate you being here. Thank you for joining tonight's Tech and Chill Show unplugged we're literally gonna have a chilled one and talk the one week experience that has been the z flip 5 and how me as a fold user someone that uses a fold it's made me change my mind how i see this um see the flip devices where's your bike boy <laughs> where's your bike hmm <laughs> Hope everyone is having a great month so far. Today is technically bang on the middle of the month. So it's the next day here in the UK. We are streaming 12 a.m. BST, 15th of August. But for most of my North American brothers and sisters, I know you are at least somewhere between five to eight hours behind on time. So we're still a Monday Night Tech and Chill show. And of course, as we do like to say, if you do have the bandwidth and you do have the capacity, we are streaming in 4K 2160p ultra high definition UHD. So select tied in 720p, which is HD. Go to 1080p, which is FHD for full HD. Then go to 1440p for QHD for quad HD. And then all the way up to the crispier stream you're going to get on Tech YouTube tonight. 2160p 4K UHD for the crispier stream on Tech YouTube. Oh, slick. Yes, we are going to be talking all things the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and just have a general conversation with it. And honestly, 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 who knew just slapping a big screen at the back? Back or front? It's weird, isn't it? This is technically the front, right? But then also, it's the back, isn't it? Right. Look at yourself. Can't you see yourself? Ooh. So if you're taking a picture of someone, yeah, you could just, you know, 
put the cover screen on for them. It's like, check you out, mate. Check you out. So it's technically the front and the back, depending on how you see it. Mm. Yes, we got the flip, flip, flip in the house. A week with it, it's been very, very interesting. It's been very, very interesting. And um, honestly, just what a difference a year makes on the device, right? What a difference a year makes on the device. I've, I've, got, I've really got to give Samsung their kudos, their props. They've made a really, really compelling package where I just didn't think I would be enjoying the concept of a flip phone so much but i've really genuinely been enjoying it a lot more than i even want to admit it's crazy it's crazy okay do let me know how the audio sounds as well i know the image quality is looking good but please 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 let me know how the audio is sounding just to make sure that we are aligned we're sounding good or well and Everything is locked and tuned in. 13 concurrent viewers, do share it out on your socials. Put it out there. Um, but before we begin, you know what? I've got to give, I've got to give thank you to um, Google. Hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll be back. BRB. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Sorry for that little pause. But <clears throat> shout out to the folks over at Big G, Google. It's one of the things I love about being part of Team Pixel because randomly, you'd be there just minding your own business and then some nice care package just comes through, right? So I'm going to switch it up. We gotta show love to the guys who are right, Google. We're gonna unbox it. Here. Got a team pixel hat. Let's try it on on camera. Looking all summer. And vibey. And then I've got my own custom Team Pixel kit. Look at that. It's so, look, it's just, it's a little Pixel 7 Pro with a G. Team Pixel hashtag. That's not even the best part. Obviously, you've got Google Pixel. But then. Boom, got my name at the back of the seven. Now, I love this, right? Because on top of that, they've given me a little bottle. Look at that, Team Pixel, right? So I love all of this. I needed a new bottle as well. It's, it's, it's suckable, pause. The problem is, it's an L. Now, Google, 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 Google. It ain't your fault. But your boy is a bit of a 2XL guy. I take two L's with my shirts. <laughs> but that's the message right there. I said, we hope you're having a nice British summer. <laughs> the, the weather's bad vibes here, though. We're getting this football kit to celebrate our friends playing down under and get you ready for all the football on Pixel action. Hope you like it. As always, your Google Pixel 7 and its smart features are here to bring you moments of joy Use Live Translate to say, ref, it's a foul in 55 languages. 
Magic erased the goalkeeper, super zoom on the on those techers and action pan your favorite lionesses. Please share the love of your um with your community by tagging us hashtag team pixel at Google UK hashtag gift from Google. All the best. Rahul, yes my guy. Love bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. And of course we're gonna rock this. <laughs> Come on. Check the swag. You gotta have fun with it, man. How do I look? I feel they didn't get the memo that I've got a dense and big head as well, so this is kind of like, you know, ain't really. Yeah. So we take it, man. Shout out to Google. Appreciate you all as per. We vibe. We vibe. All right, let's split it. Boom, here we go. All right, next big step is to tone down the crease and it's almost perfect and maybe add a third lens. Maybe, how about they do that? How about they do both of those things and I will fully, 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 switch over. Does the stuff fit you? Nope. <laughs> Pixel merch, undersized picture mercy. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Absolutely, 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 absolutely agree with those sentiments and those statements where we are now a couple things need to be done to improve it, but overall, this is a very, 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 very compelling package. Loving it. Enjoying it way, way more than I actually expected. And I've got to give Samsung their props. They have produced a compelling package with the Z Flip 5. First of all, the overall build quality, honestly, I've been going caseless with it. My only real critique, like I said in my initial review and comparison, is that they've it's they've gone back to the glossy. Uh, you know, if we look at the Flip 4, they've gone back to the glossy. Whereas the Flip 4, the finish was a matte finish, which I just really, really liked. It just felt... This handles fingerprints a lot better for glossy finish. But yeah, this matte finish just yeah, really, really felt the business. So I, I think it's only the online exclusive colors that come with the black frame in the matte finish with the matte back. So, you know, if you get it that way... So yeah, there's there's that there's that retrospect. But the build itself, it just this hinge is just so so good. Like it's look at that. Just a little a little and it's just there. This is just such a small look. The granularity of the hinge, uh, an engineering masterpiece. It's just, I you don't appreciate just how good that is. It's clutch. It's so clutch. And then bang. Oh, it's, a, it's just the little things. And then near enough zero gap hinge, about time, and still keep an IPX8 rating. Yeah, only thing I wish they'd just gone with is a matte satin finish for the metal frame and kept the matte back. I, I know I know they I know they do this interchange where the flip three was glossy, then this is in glossy. It's like the back and forth to kind of differentiate them. But the actual feel of the device, this feels like the money. It's really good. It's really good. It's just really good. And honestly, that outer cover display. It's just a lot of fun. It's not perfect. And I, he doesn't, honestly, I always, I don't know why I'm mentioning these big name people, but it's still, it's still, it's still credit to just how good their user experience reviews have been. I watched Michael Fisher's review and honestly, his, his, his breakdown of the software experience, especially against the Moto Rosa, um, Moto, Moto Razor 40 plus, immaculate. 
immaculate, immaculate, immaculate. Especially when it kept, especially when it comes to the software experience, immaculate, immaculate. So I've got to give him that. But this cover display, yeah, this cover display is nice of it, man. Absolutely nice of it. So 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 nice of it. Very 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 impressive. Very impressive. So much fun. Highly recommend that you go watch my um, initial comparison review and stuff, right? But yeah, it's it's just it's just been a delight. Honestly, it's just been a delight. <laughs> Hello, Moto. <laughs> It's just been a delight. And I'm going to show you something, right? We'll come to the display. If you saw my initial measurements of the display, this display is just, it's just bright, man. They, like, I, they downplayed how much brighter this display is. This display, display, <laughs> display. It's hell uh bright. Honestly, I'm, I'm just so impressed with it. Yes, it's not QHD, but it's 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 where it counts. It matters. Now, yes, it, it, we, we, that that crease. <laughs> yeah, they need to sort that. That's the next step. They need to sort that. They 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 need to get onto that. They need to sort that crease. They need to get onto that. That's the next step. But I can appreciate. The zero gap hinge. I can appreciate the brighter display. And I can appreciate the fact that it's still a variable, efficient, adaptive LTPO display that could go all the way down to one hertz. It's a good look. It's a good look. This crease does need to because it's just with with flip phones, you tend to have more physical interaction with the crease more than you think compared to the fold. There's less physical interaction. So, I really hope they get onto that next. I think Samsung know that they can do it stage by stage and afford to take a bit more of their time with it. That's cool, Samsung. So long as you do it in the end. That's all that matters, right? Outer cover display. Love the concept. This was a funny thing when I saw it, but you see, look. I have to turn this down just because of copywriting because uh, I don't want to... But it's it's the little it's the little little things that you can do with the outer cover display. Like if I zoom in, let's just say you're playing music. Some of them it's not an outright function, but let's just say if you're playing music, right? Hey, copyright. <laughs> like you hear, if you swipe up and you go out, look, there's this a little squiggly thing there. It's so cute. You can see the audio waveforms, a mini circular album artwork, and a timer. It's 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 not a big deal, but look, it's just the animation is just so cool. It's just whoop, 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 whoop. You know, it's. I wasn't sure about this little folder cut, but it gives it this little distinctive personality, a distinctive look, and they utilize the space when it comes to things like I like this. It's just a nice little touch. And animation before you come back there is so cool, you know? So it's 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 the little things. It's the little things. I vibe with it. I vibe with it. And of course, being able to use good luck with the cover display, right, is so good. But you do need to put good luck on there. Obviously, if you, you know, are trying to do extra stuff where it doesn't interact, like, for example, you can't press and hold to go into the settings. There's, there's things that are limited when it comes to how you use the cover display to an extent where you have to go in to then use it more. So obviously if we go, uh, where is it, where is it? Cover screen, we go to cover screen. Then we've got more options to obviously add new covers from pictures, interactive presets that you've got, extra graphical ones that you've got, the standard ones that are simple that come with One UI 5.1 are here. Um, the different colors that you can go through and obviously you can set from your own gallery as well use it Right, and obviously you can increase the time out there. I Believe cover screen or else might still be available on this one If we go to widgets and obviously because we've done the good luck launcher when you go to launcher You can pretty much add any application there 
especially the applications that aren't supported under widgets, right? So calendar. And if you go to um, labs, I think it's yeah, labs. If we go to labs and we go here, right? What's the situation? Won't cover yet. So it says apps allowed on a cover display. By default, you've got YouTube, Netflix, messages, messages, what are Samsung messages or Google messages and Google maps. That's by default. And by default, when you go here, you can see that these are the by default ones before you see good log. So obviously when you pinch in, you can reorder which one that you want within the place that you need. Oh no, that, that one you have to, um, what do you call it? Do in the settings. So here's the limitation, here we go, bang. So if we go to cover screen, cover screen is the star, man. Just makes it so much fun. Cover screen, manage. You can obviously manage the different covers. Widgets, reorder. And you can just pretty much reorder. And you can put the launcher at the top. I wish it communicated the look of the reorder better here, in my opinion. Enable game widget as well. Damn, didn't even know that one. Discovering more. It's just the cover display is just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. It's honestly a lot of fun. And as I showcased before, being able to scale well and play games like Asphalt 9 on the cover display, it's, it's just wild to me. It's honestly just wild to me, right? Now, things to improve on a cover display, obviously I stated before, making it a bit more pixel dense to make it a bit sharper. It does sometimes feel a little bit pixelated in that retrospect, right? It's crazy. Look, look how well that scales. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> the HUD elements, everything. It's just, it's, it's so, uh, yes, you do have to go through a couple of hoops because of good luck and stuff, but this is just impressive. Let me go to Twitter. And it works. It just, it's crazy how well it works. Got it. Bring up the keyboard. You can only use the Samsung keyboard. Oh, okay, well, it's glitching by the looks of it. So yeah, cover display, build, hover display, Yes, I wish there was more interactability because it, it does, again, definitely watch Michael Fisher's comparison. He did such a great job. Um, there are some limitations in how you interact with the cover display, like I said, where you do have to still flip open a phone to use it. But for the majority, it is, I think it's just a well-balanced experience being able to use the outer cover display like you can, especially with the extension of good luck. I don't know if Cover Screen OS is on here already. It probably is, but I think that's what would really help you take it to the next level in using it. But, I mean, compared to its predecessor, just a difference in a year. Right? Look at that. That's a huge difference. Huge difference in usability. Huge difference, huge difference. It's just, just a night and day difference. They're not even in the same league. That's a lot of growing up to do in a year. Like, I've got to give them props. Got to give them props. All right, let's jump into the comments, see what everyone's saying. Hello, Moto. <laughs> Hello, Moto. What's good, Sean? What's good? Hope you're well. Appreciate you joining through. The flip phones are back. I'm more, um, I like more than folds. Okay, yeah. 
a flip phone with stock Android would be great for me. Nah. <laughs> I, I, trust me, stock Android and foldables, it's, it's not really the best. You need something more than stock Android when it comes to foldables, in my opinion. The cover display is really a giant Galaxy Watch. Yeah, it's true. That is the benefit and the limitation. Good luck definitely pushes it forward. But yeah, it really does behave like just a big Galaxy Watch. You're not wrong. That's how I mean. Fisher, Fisher definitely said that. Definitely said that. Yes, what's good, bro? The homie fresh in the house. What's good, brother? Thank you for joining. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Appreciate you. It's a later stream for us today just because we've just been working around the clock um, shout out to Matt, he helped get the video out for today and crunched the edit for the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic versus the Watch 5 Pro. Um, and we still got two more to do. Ah, that's slept late. We're working on like a massive, massive, massive comprehensive charging test video on the Galaxy Flip 5. And it's going to have a nice twist to it. It's going to have a nice twist to it that we're going to add in there. So we're putting a lot of work into that. Um, and definitively, I've still got the camera comparison to do. Still got a camera comparison to do between old and new or previous and new. This isn't necessarily old, old. It's still good. But previous and new, right? So watch out for that. That's, that's going to be put into the works. But yeah, I wanted to say a week later, the Flip 5 has changed my mind. Not enough for me to switch from being a Fold user just because of the fact that I value, you know, the camera experience that comes with, especially what is my favorite camera on a foldable phone right now, which is the Pixel, Pixel Fold, without a doubt. The zoom, the main camera, the ultra wide, just the package for foldable, this is my favorite camera experience on a full device so you know I, I just can't give that up <laughs> i ain't giving that up for nobody ain't for no dual camera that's worth a thousand nah so yeah it's it's been it's, it's been an interesting ride it's brought a massive smile on my face i've really been enjoying it the performance has been really good with the hn2 mobile platform built for galaxy um the thermal management has been really good Again, not to give too much away, battery life has actually been good. I think it probably still balances out to be the same as the Flip 4. Maybe in my usage and the way I use the Flip, it's a little bit better. But I think near enough, it plateaus out to be the same considering the brighter displays and the larger display on the outer cover display as well. And it's still having a very high brightness mode, which when I did the measurement last, I think last week, yeah, last week's live stream, I was just blown away by, by how bright they were, right? All right, what we got here, Mr. Hoskins says, the fact you have to turn stuff on and download different things just to get to the cover screen to work fully is a fail for normal non-tech people will not know anything about good luck. And I agree. That I, I do agree with that one. I do agree with that one. Samsung always does this where they kind of park it in good luck and then gradually bring it in. Where it's like, yo, just bring it in from the jump. You know, and and where I do agree with you is here, to my knowledge, good luck is region specific. It's not all regions that have good luck. It's not all regions that have good luck. It's not all regions that have good luck. So that's to my knowledge as well. So you could be region limited on experiencing the benefit of good luck as well, right? Come to think of it. If they ever add a third camera to the flip, they need to. If they don't, someone like me is never going to use a flip, no matter how good they keep getting. If a flip always has a dual camera, I'm just not going to use it. I know it sounds elitist and it sounds petty. By principle, I'm not spending the value of a thousand pounds plus on a phone that does not have basic a triple camera system. 
Ain't happening, Chief. I ain't the one. But, but, but for those that they don't care, yeah, I, I mean, like, rock with it. I would have, I'm, I'm, I'm petty in a weird way where I would have given up the flash. I don't know about you. I would have given up the flash that's right here somehow to get a triple camera. Uh, that, that's just me. That's just me. Because I can low-key count how many times I've used the flash. None. I would just use the cover display with the high brightness mode as a flash, nah? Yeah, I would have done that. I would have done that. I want to rock your body. I would have done that. That's just me personally. I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think on orthodox. And I think these are the things I'm going to bring to attention for my review. To kind of spin things that, oh, you know, how would you not have a flash? I'm like, bruh, that's almost a 2,000 nit high brightness cover display. It would be good enough to work as a flash in some capacity. Same as the inner display. It will be good enough to work as a flash in some capacity. They're missing key tricks. I wouldn't, I would have given up the flash, no joke, and had a third camera lens. And now, never ever put a 2x zoom on a telephoto. It's a waste of time. Minimum 3x, or you need to be in a 5x realm to be taken absolutely seriously. You need, you need 3x just to enter the gate. Which third camera would you add a, a, a minimum 3x zoom? Minimum. That's the minimum. Like, you can't, you can't have any less than a minimum 3x. A minimum 3x zoom is just what needs to be there as bog standard. Done. Focal lamps, baby. Again, you know, I'll showcase the performance. It's been really good, snappy. Uh, not a night and day difference from the 8 Plus Gen 1 because the 8 Plus Gen 1 was just so good already, if I'm going to be honest with you, right? But it's... Um, it's, 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 testament, it's testament to just how good Qualcomm have it locked in. It's testament to just how good Qualcomm have it locked in. Keeping it short and sweet so we can have other discussions as well. Um, charging speeds. Again, we are... I've shot... Ugh, charging, tests, charging test videos are just like my petty gripe videos that I love making still. It's like watching paint dry, but I still love making them. And fortunately, you you all seem to love me doing them. They're like still the most consistently high viewed videos on the channel throughout the years. So I'm grateful for that. It keeps me motivated to learn and keep doing them. But yeah, like, you know, we out here. Trent Earn. I see you, Trent. What's good? Trent Earn, you will forever be tech rant to me. You will never, ever escape being tech rant. As calm as you are. You will forever be tech rant, my man. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. We're keeping it light and simple. Pretty much just talking about how the Z Flip 5 changed my mind. I'm a fold person, but I'll be honest with you. It's changed my mind on how I see these devices. And I rock with it. I, like a low-key, mid-key, maybe sometimes touching a bit on a high-key. Rock with it. Space is such a premium in these foldables. What would you sacrifice the extra space? Yeah, get rid of the flashlight. That's the extra space right there. <laughs> we don't need a flash. Get rid of the flash. Use the cover screen and the high brightness mode as a torch and a flash. And you're good, in my opinion. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. If, if, if it's something got to go, get rid of the flash. I can't remember the last time I used the flash. And if I do, just use the cover display. It's, it's, it's just, it, it does it. So, last thing that I need to really wrap up my definitive experience with the Flip 5 is to do a camera comparison. I will be working on a camera comparison between the Flip 5 and the Flip 4. Definitely getting to works with it, getting to crocs with it, making it making it do what it do, baby, as we do our ultimate camera comparison, as we delve in and go live and get it done. We're definitely going to do that. We're definitely going to do that. Definitely going to do that. Well, should I compare it against the Flip 4 or against the Pixel 7? It's going to be one. What do you lot think? Because right now, the Flip content has been a bit hit and miss on the channel. It's probably been more of a miss than a hit, to be fair. I'm just going to call it spade a spade, which kind of sucks. 
Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Camera comparisons definitely guarantee more of a hit. But I don't know whether to compare it against this or do I do a three-way camera comparison and complain in the edit? Because doing a three-way camera comparison, the edit is brutal. I've done that once and I promised myself I would never do it again. But that is before I had my MacBook. So maybe because I've got a MacBook, the editing will be less brutal. Just saying. So I might do a three-way camera comparison. It's, uh, I'm going to regret this. But I'm going to have to whip out the Pixel 7, make sure it's updated. It's got enough battery. Put it through the motion. And maybe do, yeah, throw a spanner in the works. Just because of the Pixel 7 has got dual cameras. Uh, I might do that. I might do that. I might do that. The Pixel Fold and the Z Fold 5 changed my opinion on foldables for the better. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. Welcome to the dark side, my friend. <laughs> you are also a fold boy. My man. Only time I use a flash is at night as a flashlight. Just use the cover display. The cover display is almost 1800 nits. Just put a high brightness mode on there for a torch. And it does the job now. Nah. Like people, back me up here. Get rid of the normal flash. Use the cover display as a flash. Put a third camera there. You are justified. How many people talk about flashes when it comes to review? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Nobody. You want, you want us fold people to take you flip seriously when you're trying to buck us a thousand pounds and dollars more? Yeah? How about you give us free cameras? Like, I don't even mind if you don't put decks in there with the desktop experience, right? In my head, I'm hearing shook ones as the background music to just me running. Doom, doom. Dum, 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 dum. Anyway, I just got off topic like that. Put free cameras in the thing. Understand? Put free cameras in this bad boy. Do it. Do it. Do it, you cowards. Okay, you're not cowards. You're brave. But I'm just saying, do it. <clears throat> Can you spend the whole day just using a cover? This yeah, I've been doing that. It's fun. It's just hella fun. Where it stops me, I have to go in the cupboard, in the normal phone. But it's just, like, you know, I, I, I'm just on Instagram just wasting life away with memes. So I'm like, it's just a cute little Instagram meme pocket machine. I like it. I love it. <laughs> it's just, it's a vibe. The Xiaomi Mi Mix Fold is fire. Yeah, but we've, we've seen it. I would admit anything flip just to save manpower. Fold over flip for views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just been like that. Put the free cameras in the thing. <laughs> you know it. Nah, I'm, just, I'm just calling as it is, man. I, I just, I travel too often. I do too many things. I, I just, you get to a point where you've got your minimum base standards of what's important for you on a phone. No more than an hour, uh, no more than an hour to full charge, right? You need no less than a day full battery, if not a day and a half, just because I'm a person, I do not charge my phones overnight. So I need a day and a half battery and I need the ability to charge no more than one hour to four, right? That's just my minimum requirements. I minimum need three cameras. I've got to have a good ultra wide with no less than 120 degree field of view. I can kind of give or take, allow it into some extent. Need a solid main camera lens that is, you know, no more than 48, 50 megapixels just to give that room in terms of how it works with pixel binning to clean up the image. And you need no less than a very, very clean, solid 3X optical zoom. 2X optical zooms are a waste of time. That's not an optical zoom. You're just, you're just a waste of my time. We can do that on the main camera lens. Minimum 3X, but I kid you not, this Pixel 4 just made me realize that, yo, like, I'm just at the point where... I'm really about 5X and above. Like, you've got to give me, like, baseline, 5X, free, you know, you know, you know, like, what you're getting in the club and, like, you're in the minimum um, um, non-VIP. Like, you just, you're just, like, at the bottom. <laughs> it's, that's 3X, yeah. Like, <laughs> this is VIP. And then, you know, these ones are, like, the elites. These are, like, popping bottles, you know. Start with straight shots and then pop bottles. <laughs> These are them phones where they're like, yeah, we got two zooms, we got one for the three, and we got another one for the ten. Like we we out here, you know. They're the ones that are flexing. These are like the Cristiano Ronaldo's and the Lionel Messi's. 
But overall, overall, that being said, I'll be honest with you, man. Yeah, this flip five, if you're a flip person, and I, 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 in my, following my gut, and not entirely my logic, it is, I even feel it's worth upgrading from the flip four. It's usually not the case. The last time a set of foldables I've on heart said was worth a year upgrade was fold one to fold two. This is that. In my opinion, this is that. This is that. This is that year difference that all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, nah. If you have a flip four and you can get rid of it and justify a flip five, you will love your flip way more. I promise you. I promise you that. I promise you that. I promise you that. For real, for real. I promise you that. But that's just me. I can I will say a week later, and that's my roundup. I ain't really got much else to say. Watch out for the charging test video. Watch out for the camera comparison video. We're getting in and we're getting sorted. Does the settings show screen on time for the cover display or in a display separately? Um, let's check. Let's check. That's a good question. Let's check. Device care. Battery. Nah, it, it just it just it just shows it as a generic complete, so it's probably more focusing on the inner display. Yeah, battery life has been on point, man. Five hours plus the screen on time of about a good twenty to thirty percent left in the day. It's been it's been really good. It's been really good. Honor VS is better. You know what? The Honor V2, I'll tell you what, I can't wait for Eva. 1st of September, Honor V2. Yeah. That, well, <laughs> we in Germany, Berlin, again. Yeah, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. <laughs> the Lil Wayne reference. You see, this, you see, that fresh, yeah. You, you're a real one. You know, you know. Oh, you see, you, when I drop these references, you clock, you know, yeah. Bro, you're a real one. We we need we need a collab we need an Instagram collaborative video somehow on the pixel or saying we need a live stream. Like bro, you, you're the fam, you get the references, you see me. I'ma be honest, I don't like Samsung foldables, too skinny on both models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh hell like whew. talk about the form factor king. I take no words back. This is king of foldable form factors. No cap. You experience this form factor. I remember I gave this to my younger brother and he was like, yo, this feels the money. Yeah. I need to try a flip again most likely next year for me. Yeah, just wait till next year. Man, enjoy your folds, bro. I see you invested in a Fold 5 and Team Pixel sent you your um, Pixel Fold as well, man. Bro, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're a Fold person. But I'm just saying, this flip has brought a smile on my... Like... It's brought such a smile on my face way more than I expected I would do. Like, I've, I've, I've fucked with it. It's, it's, it's really good. I love Samsung. Way. <laughs> All right. 45 minutes into the stream. Let's just have a chat, man. Let's talk. Let's vibe. Let's just talk. Ask me any questions. Actually, let's open up the browser. Ooh. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Here comes the money. It's still content recap. Okay, transition. All right, here we are. Content recap for the start of the month into the middle of the month for Lover of Tech. We dropped our dedicated sponsor showcase on the JBL Tour Pro 2. Definitely, definitely recommend you go watch that, man. We put a lot of work into that. It was an absolute brutal one to have to do the whole reshoot. But again, shout out to the guys at JBL showing support, man, helping us be sustainable. 
um, sponsor on the channel. I own it and I, I feel no shame. These brands that actually consider the work that we do, it really makes a difference, keeping us sustainable and going and happy with how the reshoot came out. Um, so definitely go check that out for sure. Show some love and um, some support on it. Um, it's a good showcase. And boom, we did this. Went through the Flip 5 and a Flip 4 comparison video. Definitely go check that one as well. It's an initial comparison um, video that I discussed on both. Really liked how that came out as well. It was really good, enjoyable. Um, pretty much just off the back of what we discussed here. So 100% go check that out. 100% go check that out. And then what we have here, which is One UI. Oh, God. One UI. This... The way, the way I hate One UI videos here, yeah, brutal. Absolutely brutal. I'll, I'll give you a little backstory. I'll give you a little backstory because as a friendly reminder, of course, that's today's video as well. Thank you for showing love on this, man. This video has been ranking number one. Um, even even the homie Fresh was like, what is my guy? Watch guy. I, I double, I double. We got, we, 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 got, we got watches, you know, like, listen, let's, 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 you know, when you tell someone, yeah, I've got time. But I've got time. I've got time, you silly. I, 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 I got time. I got time. We got, got, got a flex on it. Like, I got, I got time. Don't worry. We got, we, we got time. We got watches. You know. Some people say rollies. I got smart watches. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not too much of a, of a watch person like that. But I am enjoying the Watch Six Classic. It's been, it's been nice with it. It's really good to have the rotating digital crown bezel on there. Put, you know, put the crown back on it, man. It's really good to see that. Loving it. Um, so that's today's video. Thank you for showing love on this one. It seems to be ranking well. Hopefully it just, it just does well. Hopefully it just does well. Um, yeah, so that's today's video. So four videos in a month. I think we're probably going to be aiming for somewhere around eight videos this month. Last month we hit 11 videos. And that's minus the long form, um, the short form stuff that we did across the board. Obviously we've done a couple of shorts there as well. If you go to the Sam Mobile YouTube channel, we've been cooking there as well. Well, I've been cooking over there. So, yeah, I mean, since, obviously, the launch, there's been one, two, three, four, five, six videos. But this, yeah, ah, man, we went in-depth on this one. And this did basically 100K views in, in just over a day. And this is the full comprehensive breakdown of One UI 6.0 beta 1 there's probably going to be like four beta versions before the final ota release in october if i'm remembering what they did last year with one ui5 um and i i believe my video for sam mobile on one ui 6.0 beta 1 for android 14 on the galaxy s23 ultra is definitively the most comprehensive one and i hate doing these videos let me let me let me give you let me give you an understanding of why I personally don't like doing these software videos, but I still make sure that I do them the best when it lands. It's like doing an exam curriculum, right? It's like doing an exam curriculum. There's a change log. So a change log will come out. Let me even try and see if I can find a change log a screenshot. A massive change log will come out telling you all that is new on One UI, right? It'll give you everything. All the new features, tell you what the software update is going to be in terms of size, give you all the breakdown. Then, 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 you have to, you have to basically, it's like a textbook curriculum. You have to then study it. You have to sit down. It is tedious, laborious, and boring as hell. Boring. I don't even take that back. Basically, my inner pride is not going to allow me not to do a solid video on it. So here's what I have to do. I have to get one phone, get another phone that's running the latest official software, which in this case is like One UI 5.1, and have them side by side. And you have to basically, because it's beta software, you cannot take Samsung's word for it when it said, this is a feature. Some of them don't work. And just because it tells you what the feature is, it doesn't tell you how to use it. You have to then go through the motion of trying to figure out how it works, seeing if it works, seeing, like, there's, there's, 
so it's tedious and then i'm sleeping and i'm getting belled like five in the morning that like, yo one you want i'm like bro i'm sleeping by the time i get up now it's not technically available in my region then you've got to go through the process of trying to get a piece of beta one software that you can side load go through the painful process of installing it manually just because it's not available in your country once you do that now you've got to sit down and you what you have to remember is yeah doing these videos as a video person is is just like bro no sleep non-stop you have to both work fast and take your time so you don't miss stuff and then there's certain features that work that bring up certain prompts that don't come back again when you do it so you have to sometimes reset it so that you can show these prompts on camera then you gotta sit down and look at something see how it works type it and describe this is where it's like you're doing an exam because now you're having to write your own script from top to bottom it's like you're doing an exam after bro, after you've done all of that i'm, I'm telling you you're beat up you're you want to sleep you want to eat you want to you need you need love tlc sighting no 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 you now have to sit in front of the camera and present your life like it depends on it. Oh, you think you're done? Nah, you ain't done yet. Now you got to shoot the B-roll to make sure that everything lines up perfectly. Oh, you thought you were done? Nah, now you got to edit a flipping year enough 20 minute video on top of that. Go back, blur out all your personal details so you don't get doxxed or someone doesn't see your number or email address. Bro, I, I kid you not, I kid you not, is it all worth it in the end for how, how well the video bangs? No. No, no, it is, but I feel like a piece of me, my life force leaves me when I do one of these videos. You see, so for, for the ones that know how to do it and enjoy doing it, good for you. How do you feel that the one that hates doing it is doing it better than you? <laughs> I, would, I would feel some way, but either way, we got it done. We, 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 we got it in. Go on Sam Mobile if you want to know all about One UI. I did my top favorite features as well. But, uh, damn. How are you feeling about the Mi Mix Fold um, 4? I, I, I need to get more information on it. Need to get more information on it. And the M340D video. Yes, you're right, T. You're right, T. You're right, T. You're right, brother. You're right, you're right, you're right. We did miss Lover of Cars. That was a big one. It's gone Lover of Cars. It's gone Lover of Cars. All right, boom. Let's go on Lover of Cars. Channels, of course, M340D video. Ooh, I'm about to hit 500 views on it. It's coming into its own. M340D video. Definitely go check out Lover of Cars. I did put it on the community tab as well. Really, really happy with how it came out coming into our stride with how we are doing things on Lover of Cars, especially with the full-length production videos, which is something that I really wanted to make sure that we dialed in and locked in and locked out, which is looking good. It's looking good, it's looking good, it's looking good. So, yeah, that was with the homie TC. Getting into the spice and aggress of it, man. Making sure that that's coming into play really enjoyed it really really looking good so yeah go check out lover of cars with the bmw m340d review in 2023 the real m car is coming into his own man it's, it's, i think it's just gonna break a thousand views a lot quicker than expected and help us get to a hundred subscribers come on people Guess 100 subscribers. YouTube has not been throwing us a bone, but we've been doing great content over on Lover of Cars. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Especially shorts. The shorts had been popping off. Or well, actually, technically haven't been popping off because YouTube are just absolute enemy of progress. But TikTok, love there has been real. But yeah, Lover of Cars has been cooking it. But no, we've, been, we've been cooking. We've been cooking. We have been cooking. We have been cooking because this video went live on the 10th of August. Yeah. Damn, we've been cooking. Lover of cars, lover of tech, Sam Mobile. Yeah, 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 we're cooking. We're cooking. We out here. We out here. We're versed. We're versed. We're versed. We're out here. We're out here still. Cutdown's coming through. 
Yeah, we're out here, man. Damn. Okay. Uh, why my channels tab? Have I, have I updated it with my right people? Fresh, I need to move you. I need to move you here, I believe. We need to do some rejigging. But I've got all my right people. Yeah, I think I've got all my right people in my channel tabs. Boom. Good chop. Meme recorded, thank you. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Trent, you missed a good one last week, though. I think last week or the week before, you missed a good one. So I'm eager to see which one's going to be. I'm eager to see which one's going to be. All right, people, we've got four minutes on the clock. Ask me any question, man. Let's go. Fire through. Let me know what's good. Let me see what I'm going. What's really good? Me mm, good. Oh, good turnout today, man. Good turnout today. View activity, stream help. At the peak of it, we had 22 concurrent viewers. Thank you so much, people. That's, that's, a, that's a good turnout. I love that. I love that. I love that. From the do da da. His songs in my head. Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Hmm? Still need to watch Oppenheimer. Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Dang, all the comments are gone in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tech for you needs. Appreciate you joining. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. We're pretty much about to shut shop and close. <laughs> I think YT, YouTube glitched um, glitched out for me at least. Oh, okay. <laughs> we out here though. We got a minute and a half on the clock. We got a minute and a half on the clock. Feel free to, you know, drop any questions, any thoughts, anything. I think, I think, I think to save having to do two separate videos, I'm going to cry and try and do. Oh, that rhymes. I'm going to cry and try and do a three-way camera comparison with the Pixel 7, with the Pixel 7 and the Flip 4 and the Flip 5. Oh, I'm going to regret this. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. Oppie is long here. So, yeah, rumor has it that if you don't watch Oppenheimer in 70, 70mm IMAX, they will drag you backstage and shout. <laughs> Where are we going to find a 70mm IMAX? I mean, it's one in Milton Keynes. I think there's one in Milton Keynes. Got to listen to Father Like Son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's one of my favorite tunes. Game. Future and Buster Rhymes. That is literally, I play that song every single time for my firstborn's birthday. Every single time. That's, 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 that's my song for him. My eldest, David. That's my song for him. I hope you're thinking every come and everything you tell me. And that's all I wanted from you, young and like father, like son. That song hits me here. That's one of my, that's probably game's best song. And obviously Buster riding on it. Yeah, like, yeah, that's my stuff. If you watch a YouTube video on the inner display, you can continue on the outer cover display. Yeah, you can, it's sick, it's sick, it's dope. Yeah, there were a lot of comments in the chat before, but YouTube deleting them all. That's, that's, yeah, that's a glitch. That's a glitch. All right, people, we've hit the hour mark. Really appreciate it all. Thank you for joining your Tech and Chill Show Unplugged for the Monday night. Hope you're safe during this time. Make sure you subscribe across the board for all things lover of tech, media, lover of tech, lover of cars, the cut down, lover of cameras, as well as everywhere else on the socials for Instagram and also the ticking tax. Appreciate you all. Stay safe. We've got a lot wrapped in for you for this month, into the next month, especially for IFA. 
and also iPhone season into Pixel 8 season for October. Stay blessed. Hope you're all well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.